Welcome once again to the Friday Beer Break. We are sponsorless. If you are Kevin O'Leary or you own a multi-billion dollar corporation, feel free to give us a lot of money. Uh, I'm joined from the Toronto Beer Blog, uh, Mr. Chris Schreier. Hi. So this, before you get into the science of the beer, let's just talk about how this is one of the many reasons why fall is the best time for beer. I was on Great Lakes Brewery's website earlier today, and the pumpkin ale is in the LCBO again. Very excited. Fall is the best time for beer. And I noticed that Bose has this weird Oktoberfest lager. Pilsner. It's a Pilsner. Which one? It's Markenspruken or something okay. like that. It's got a weird German name. Yeah. But whatever. Let's talk about Muskoka's Harvest Ale. It is like tradition and amazing. This is a classic coming back third or fourth or something year. I've lost track. But so it's a Harvest Ale. The idea with these beers, they're going to be a bit darker, a bit higher in alcohol. And Muskoka's particular version uses some neat hopping. So they talk about it having like a grassiness, like a freshly harvested field or something. But to me, whenever I drink it, and I haven't had this year's yet, this is going to be a big one for me. Uh, whenever I have it, I'm always struck by the fact that it does have a, a more hoppy profile. It's not like an IPA or anything. No. But a lot of the time, Harvest Dales tend to spice Really spice is weedy, like yeah. a lot of wheat beers. And this one, it's, it's more at least balanced and maybe even tending toward the hop. So I'm going to open this. Now, this is a lot of fun because this is a Caged and corked bottle. This is like this is a champagne bottle. Uh, I will tell you the yeah. best way to drink this is outside with a sweater, like sitting outside. A cardigan, a, possibly a cardigan, and a, or a vest, or an Aaron sweater, po- whatever that is. Yeah, that's the uh, the Irish ones with the knot work. They're white. Yep, those ones. Yep. But yeah, like outside, it's just this is after you've closed down the pool, raked the leaves, doing all that fall outside stuff. That's this the, the beer to have. It's a little safety lesson for you kids at home. When you're opening a champagne bottle or a beer bottle that's caged and corked, you keep your thumb on top and you never lean over it because if the cork hits you in the face, it hurts. I've heard. Never happened. So it didn't pop there, which is nice. We're going to see. This could be high drama. Why are you pointing it at me? I'm not. I'm pointing it over there. Well, initially it wasn't me. Safety. Always wear goggles. I should have sort of put my safety glasses on. That would have been awesome. Sometimes you have to get uh, a little ghetto and you go... So what is the tradition with the Harvest Ales? Like, is this a specific type of beer that they used to make back in the old country? I mean, there's always been a tradition of having different beers seasonally, and and certainly in the fall. Based on what was available from, like, uh, agricultural standpoint. Yeah, sure, and also down to things like in Germany, the main Oktoberfest beer. People always think of Eisbeers, but it's actually um, a Märzen, which is made in May. Mar- March. Yeah, the Martzen. The, March. the, that's the beer that um, that Bose is doing. It's Martzen. Okay, but yeah, they have Night Martzen. Yeah. Yeah, is that the one you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a great yeah. beer. I love it. It's a that really beer. good beer. I yeah. was drinking it all weekend. So that wasn't about what was available in the fall, but that was about the fact that you could still make beer in the spring and then age it, and it would be ready in the fall. Um, so, I mean, this specific type of Harvest Ale, I'm assuming, is sort of a hybridized style. Um, it's certainly an ale. It's not a lager. Um, and oh, I'm excited again, it's got about some this. modern hopping to it, so... This is my first of the year, by the way. My first, too. Oh, that's good. It smells so fantastic. Like, I'm starting to get that. It's got a great scent profile. Yeah. And you just get, look, just look forward to these beers. Oh, that's magical. Mm. Oh, yeah, the hops are right there. That's really nice. There is a nice grassiness, but there's an herbalness, earthiness almost. It's so soft tasting. Yep. Definitely got some nice uh, caramelly malt to it. This is magical. Yeah. I've been looking for... I have been pestering you about getting this mm-hmm. on this show for a long time. Yeah, uh, since, like, early September. Mm. Um, but, yeah, this is really nice. This is such a, that's, I was talking about uh, a, few nights, a few weeks ago about how when, when hockey season comes back, for me, more than anything, it's beer season. Yeah. Because that's a lot of time sitting in front of the TV, watching hockey, yelling at the television. And you get to sit down, and you do a lot of drinking, and you try different beers. That's the thing about hockey for me, is trying different beers while watching hmm. all the games. And we're, I think this, like leading up now, right into summer. Once summer hits, I find it's all just wheat beers and fruit beers. But right now, you're getting into this. This leads into... The, the winter ale yeah. from Great Lakes, which is like one of my favorite beers going. Well, and all the imperial stouts that come yeah. out. Yeah, you know what? I like the stouts, but I don't know. I'm t- not the biggest stout fan because there's so many other things out there to drink. Hmm. Yeah, the more I'm drinking this even, as I'm warming it up a little bit too, uh, man, the hops just come out. This is, 
I, I, I don't even know what style, they, what they would call it, g given the color. But I mean, this is in pale ale territory in terms of hop presence. It's just phenomenal. It's in good beer territory is what it is. So Muskoka, Harvest Ale. Yep, it's at the LCBO right now. How long is it going to be there for? Well, until it's out, but which normally, won't take long because yeah, it's amazing. Fred and I'll be buying a lot. Yes, but uh, you know, normally by December it's done. But I mean, the super handiest thing in the world is the LCBO has stock counts on their website, so you can search a product uh, and then check it against your location and see what stores near you have it. So you can always check before you go in. They also have a really good app, so it's worth getting if you're a beer purchaser in the city. Oh, fantastic! And if you're out in Durham, there's that big LCBO on Brock in Pickering. It's fantastic. And then they've got the new one out in Whitby. Hmm. But yeah, look at that. Regionalizing. Very good. Very good. But cheers to Muskoka. This is just beautiful. Yes. Thank you, Muskoka. I want to make sweet love to it with my mouth.